Hi, this is VSDC channel. Last time we showed you an easy color isolation effect. If you haven't seen it yet, you can watch it here. And some of you asked for an extension of that video. Specifically, you wanted to learn how to make a video black and white, leave just one accent color and change it. Thanks for the idea! It's quite an easy trick, and you may have seen it in music videos multiple times. So let's get started. Launch VSDC and import your footage. Now take a look at the video and decide which object's color will be the accent color. Here's a young woman walking towards it, plus a few more cars in the foreground. In our case, it's the red car. Good. This time we'll apply the effect to several files simultaneously. Side note. If you are working with multiple files at the same time, it's always better to convert them into a sprite with the following parameters. Use this container? No. Show effects? Yes. Fill background? No. Last time, if you remember, we worked in the basic effects window. It's quite convenient if you are working with a single file. However, now we'll need to apply the hue and saturation effect to all the files at the same time. Make a double-click on the sprite with all the video files, then open the Video Effect menu, proceed to Adjustments and select Hue Saturation Value or Hue Saturation Lightness. As for the following steps, you're probably already familiar with them. Find the Hue Saturation Curve or the Hue Saturation Color Spectrum, if you will, and what's the color of the car again? Red, OK. Let's select the red color among these control points. Now we have three control points on the color spectrum. One on the left-hand side, one in the center, and one on the right-hand side. The key control point, the one in the center, defines the saturation level of the selected color. The control points on the sides define the saturation of the rest of the colors on the spectrum. To isolate one color, you need to move the control points on the sides closer to the center of the spectrum. Alright, we're halfway there. Let's move on and see how to change the accent color. To do that, duplicate the hue saturation value effect, then reset the color spectrum settings in that duplicate. To change the tone of the remaining color, we need to change the parameter called hue levels. Or why don't we go the extra mile and apply a stylish animation? For instance, open the template menu and select Zigzag 4 or edit the beat to connect the color change with the music bit. We hope you had some fun! And if you have any questions or ideas for our next video, leave them in the comments below. Remember to subscribe! Until next time!